Hello, I'm Kirk Miller. Welcome to Cerritos College. Um, this video is my orientation video uh, for all of my classes, um, which have um, unfortunately been changed to online classes now. Um, they've been, in the past all been taught in class, but due to the, or, uh, to the coronavirus, the COVID-19, um, they were all being taught online. So what I hope to do in this video is to get you oriented and um, familiar with how I teach online now and um, make sure that you have access to everything that you need from handouts to um, tutorials to um, videos, yeah, uh, videos as well as um, the syllabi for all of my classes. So anyway, let's start with um, my website. I do use Canvas a little bit, but for the most part, um, everything for my classes should be found on my website. And that's where I am right now. So to get access to my website, you obviously need a computer, you need access to the internet, and um, you need to go to kmart66.com. That's kmart66.com. It's actually um, several websites rolled into one. It is my personal website. So um, under the first tab here, Kirk Miller Art, you can see that I have uh, pages about me, my resume, uh, samples of my artwork, and how kmart came to be. I also have an ancillary website called Gallery 934, and this is where I put new work, experimental work that I haven't fully tested. I also have a blog that I contribute to once in a while, not very often, but once in a while. Um, where you will spend most of your time, however, is in Kirk's classes, and that's where I'd like to take you now. So under Kirk's classes tab, Scroll down and we'll go to Kirk's classes and I'll take through take you through all of this one by one. Um, where you come to first on the Kirk's classes homepage um, are samples of artwork from three of the four classes that I teach. Um, I teach Art 186, Computer Graphics with Illustrator. I also teach Art 192, Photoshop Digital Imaging. I teach um, 3D modeling um, with uh, art that's Art 195 with LightWave. And I also teach Art 196, um, which is Introduction to Web Design with Dreamweaver. Um, three of those classes, uh, Art 186, Art 192, and Art 196, that's Illustrator, Photoshop, and Dreamweaver, we use Adobe software. Uh, at the present time, um, we are still using LightWave by NewTek for our 3D modeling um, class. So how you, um, what you'll need for the class and uh, samples of the artwork that you see here um, um, are very important. And that's what we'll be covering in this video here. So as you can see, there are samples here from my Photoshop class, my Illustrator class, um, and these are some of the best examples. I don't expect everybody to um, complete projects of this caliber, but it would be nice if everybody did. This is what um, I hope to achieve in this class. Okay, I'm going to scroll down. And um, again, all of this was created while we were working in the classroom. So you can see that I have a voicemail um, extension 2609. This is the school's telephone. I don't have access to my office anymore. So this phone number is worthless. I also have a school email. Um, if you use it in an emergency, I can get back to you, but I'd prefer that you didn't use it. This is my office, which as I mentioned a moment ago, I don't have access to. And now that all of the classes are being taught asynchronously, asynchronously online, 
I really don't have a specific office hour anymore, but we'll um, talk about that shortly too, about how you can be in touch with me. Okay, so that's the, the home page. So I encourage you to look at samples of these work works, um, and there are really some nice, nice examples that um, are worth taking a peek at. So the next place that you want to go, I'm going to go to weekly syllabi. Um, so that's it's this week in class, and I have um, weekly syllabi, and I've recently updated this for my summer class, the Art 186 Computer Graphics Adobe Illustrator. But as you scroll down, you'll see that I have um, um, a syllabus for each of the other classes that I teach, including the spring semesters when I usually teach um, advanced classes as well. So what I do in this weekly syllabus is <clears throat> um, for each of the times that we meet in class, um, but we're not meeting in class anymore, um, I list the times that I'm going to have webinars. Okay, so um, I typically will have webinars at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. And depending on the class that you are enrolled in, will determine which webinar that you should attend. Um, those webinars are a live interaction between you and me. I will give demonstrations. I will give um, um, tutorials on from the textbook, um, as well as we can have a question and answer period, so that if you have questions for me or you're running into any challenges with a project or a lesson, we can work it out um, then. Now, for those of you who can't attend at those times, um, each of these webinars will be recorded and will be available on uh, a YouTube video. So um, with uh, closed captions. So those will be available shortly thereafter the, the webinar is completed. As you can see on this weekly syllabus, in addition to the webinar, um, I also will have listed here very briefly, but it's important what we'll be doing on that day or where, what you should be doing, but what I will be covering in the webinar. So for, as an example for the summer class that I'm teaching, um, the first day of class on the 6th. I'm going to do an introduction. Um, I'm going to have a quick tour of an overview of Adobe Illustrator. Then on Tuesday, we're going to do lesson two, and that's going to be um, techniques for selecting artwork and so on and so forth. Um, and the same would be true for all of the other classes as well, that um, on a day-to-day -day basis, well, you don't have to um, since you're working from home. Since you don't have to be doing exactly what we're doing, I encourage that you do keep up with me so that um, you don't wait until the last minute in the last um, week of the class to try to complete everything. Okay. Now, I have a composite or a complete syllabus that we'll get to on a separate page. So if you want to see week by week what I will be doing, what you should be doing, then we'll, um, I'll show that to you in a few minutes. So that's some, it's a PDF file that you're free to download or view as well to get a, a nice overview of the class. What I want to also do now is to um, cover some of the links that I have to the left over here. Now for the web tools, <clears throat> for the 3D printing um, and additional help down here, um, I'm going to hold off on that, but you will need all of this right now. So in order to have access to the webinars, you need to have an account with zoom.us. Um, that's free to you, and that's how you'll gain access to the webinars. Um, in addition to that, for those of you who need the Adobe software, there are two places that you can go to have access for that, and you will unfortunately have to purchase subscription to that if you don't have it already. Um, the first place that you can go is Adobe, the Adobe website itself. And if you're uncertain as to whether you want to use it or not, um, you're really not sure about subscribing for a length of time, 
then um, sign up for the free trial here. It's only for seven days, but it is for free, and there's no other obligations that you need for that. So that's what that one is. Now, for those of you um, in the 3D modeling class, um, we are using Dream, uh, Dream We are using Lightwave by NewTek, and if you click right here, it will take you to the Lightwave website. And again, there is a free trial version um, that's um, good for 30 days. It's a 30-day trial. That will not take you through the semester. Um, in the event that you can't afford Lightwave, then my recommendation is if you want a, a workaround, it's a little bit awkward, but this is um, something that you can do is that if you have multiple email accounts, at the end of 30 days, when each of these time, when this uh, trial version times out, sign up again with a different email, and that will get you through the semester. It's free. It's um, not the way I would like this to work, but uh, for right now, since this is a, a sudden transition to online, it's the best that I can do for the moment. Okay, um, that's uh, f for free. Now, if you do want to buy it. Then my recommendation is um, uh, for the, the new tech software, go to Novage. And you can see here, if you have um, $200 to spend, this is a very robust program. Normally, um, the list price for this is close to $1,000. So for a student price of $200, it's quite reasonable, but it is a considerable um, commitment to having it for yourself. And I presume that you will plan on taking the animation class later on as well. Okay, so that's where that's located for a student price. Now, if you decide to get the Adobe software, okay, and um, you've used the trial or maybe not, but you're certain that you want to um, subscribe to the Adobe Suite, then the place that you should go is right here, collegebuys.org. And when you click on that link, it will take you to this page at College Buys. And you can see that there's um, shopping for students, for faculty and staff, and for colleges. Well, you are a student, so you're going to want to click here. And when it takes you here, um, you're going to want to select the state, and it gives us California. You're a student, and go ahead and submit. And it takes you here. Okay. Now, the list of software that they have um, is the Adobe Cloud is the third one over. And you can see that normally it's um, close to $600, um, or some other outrageous price for the Adobe Suite. You can't, um, I don't think you can purchase or um, license just one um, software package anymore. You have to get the whole suite. But it starts at, at $40. And if you click here on this particular um, link, you can see that for a six month uh, st student license, it's $40. For an annual license, it's $80. So both are a very good deal. Um, unfortunately, because we are, again, because we're not um, meeting in class and you don't have access to our computers in the labs and you don't have access to our software that you're going to have to subscribe on your own. Okay, And this is for not, not only Illustrator or Photoshop, or Dreamweaver, but if you want access to Premiere and other software that Adobe makes, you will have access to that as well. Okay. Okay. So that's collegebuys.org. Um, the next thing on the list um, of things that you'll need, aside from a computer, aside from an internet connection, for most of my classes, um, you will need a textbook. So on the weekly syllabus, we're going to go back to that again. And you can see down here at the bottom of each one, you can see what we're using, for example, for Illustrator this summer is Adobe Illustrator CC 
2019 Classroom in a Book. It's by Brian Wood, and here's the ISBN number. So um, if you're wondering where to purchase it, um, the link that I have provided for you, when you hover over this particular link here and click, it takes you to Amazon.com. Do you have to buy it from Amazon.com? Absolutely not. Um, you can see right now that um, a new version is about $40 and a used version is about $40. So it's up to you which you want to buy. If you would rather buy a Kindle version at a considerably um, lower price, then that's fine too. But you absolutely do need the textbook for Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, and Dreamweaver. Okay, you need that because we do lessons in the book and you'll res be responsible for those lessons. Now there are files associated with those lessons and they can be downloaded once you have purchased the book. But again, if you have difficulty doing that, I will provide those files for you. And I'll, we'll see that on the handouts page or actually uh, a little bit later, okay? So, um, where do we go back up? So, we have the Adobe Suite, we have Lightwave by New Tech. <clears throat> Another link to Amazon.com is from here if you're interested in buying anything else from them. Um, the software for the Adobe Suite, collegewise.org. For Lightwave, Noveg has a student price, and these are the places that I can. can um, I recommend that you go. Um, two other websites, Creation Engine and Journey Ad, are also very good too for student and faculty discounted prices. Okay, so <clears throat> in addition to that, um, you have, uh, there we go, we have the textbook, we have the link to my website, um, we have links to the Adobe Suite. Um, and um, new tech. And now what I'd like to do, we are gonna come back to lynda.com for a minute. Um, that's an ancillary source that I use from time to time and we'll talk about that. But in the meantime, what I'd like to do is take you to um, the handouts page. Okay. So you can see over to the left, we still have our helpful links. And we have our web tools and we have the 3D printing tools. But instead of the weekly syllabus, um, I have the complete syllabi for all of my classes. And uh, again, as an example, let's go ahead and use Art 186 um, Illustrator Computer Graphics. And if I click on that, it takes me to a PDF page. And so <clears throat> it basically mirrors a little bit um, very closely what I have on Canvas. Um, it gives a the course description, textbook, materials, my grading system, okay? And you can see that it's done, you know, not only are you responsible for lessons, but you're responsible for projects. Um, attendance, because we're meeting asynchronously and you don't have to uh, be there for the webinar, I do require that you check in with me once a week just to let you know, let me know that you're there scheduled. So for my summer class here, you can see on week one, this is what I will be covering in my webinars. And this is so we're gonna, our classwork will be lessons one through four. And then at the, um, at the end of the, the week or during the week, you should begin the mask assignment. Um, at week two, we'll be doing lessons five and six. And um, you will, the, at the end of the week, the mask assignment will be due. So that will be true for all of these classes that I have. This is a week by week syllabus. And you can see that I typically front load in most of these classes um, quite a few lessons and um, to get you up to speed so that you can comfortably or reasonably comfortably begin working on some interesting projects. So that's the syllabus, the complete syllabus, not the weekly syllabus, but the complete um, full syllabus. So that's where that is. Now, where are the assignments? And I talked about, for example, the Illustrator class. 
The first assignment that they will be doing, or that you will be doing if you're taking the class, is the mass assignment. So what is that about? If you click on here, that takes you to another PDF file. One that you can print, download, or just refer to from time to time on my website. It's all there. And then if you want to know what it's supposed to look like, go back to the home page for Kirk's classes and look at some samples of, of the work. So I have samples of most of the projects that are here. Okay. Go back. So uh, the complete syllabi for all of the classes um, and also the projects, the individual projects for each of the classes. And you'll notice, for example, in Adobe Photoshop, I have a postcard assignment. I have a DVD cover, a poster, a book cover. I also have something called the Invisible Man Project, Retouch and Restore, and a digital painting. So um, as we move through the semester, I will specify in the weekly syllabus which of these projects you should be working on, or in some cases, I will give you a choice. Okay, same for 3D modeling class. Room, uh, reboot character, toy, and then final project. Okay, and for the web design class, optimizing for the web and your website, and so on and so forth. Um, again, we have all the specific projects laid out. Okay, so those are the handouts. Now, how do you get in touch with me? Um, how do you turn in the projects? Um, that's very important. What I need you to do is I need you to have a Gmail account. And this is the Gmail account that I will be using for my classes. It's kirkmillerart at gmail.com. That's kirkmillerart at gmail.com. And so what you'll need to do, first thing, first week in class, is you'll need to email me. So if you don't have a Gmail account, then you'll need to get one. And you'll simply compose a, an email, and it will be to kirkmillerart at gmail.com. And in the subject, which is very important, you're going to first put your name. So, for example, um, if I were to use myself as an example, I would put K. Miller. If you want to put your full name, that's fine. Then after that, all you need to do is put Google Drive. Because that is where you're going to be uploading all of your um, your files. You're going to put in your lessons and you're going to put in your um, your projects. And I will specify at the time how you're supposed to submit it as the original Illustrator Photoshop file or maybe a JPEG in the 3D modeling class. But I will specify um, how you're supposed to turn that in. Okay. Now, once you've emailed me, then you will be invited. You will, in turn, receive an email that will invite you to a Google Drive account that I have that will be shared by everyone in all of my classes. So if you ha already have a Gmail account, or if you don't, um, once you have a Gmail account, you automatically have Google Drive. And where that will be found is in the upper right-hand corner. When you click here, You'll notice down to the left, it says Google Drive, you click. And you can see that I have a number of folders for all of the past and present classes. So for example, <clears throat> if I were to go to my summer class, Art 186, Summer 2020, um, what I'm going to do when I receive your emails is I'm going to invite you to share this folder. I'm going to share this folder with you. And so to do that, I'll um, go ahead and I will select share and I'll put in your email and your name and then you will um, have access to this folder. Um, I encourage you to put it in your own Gmail, your own Google Drive account in addition to this one as a form of backup. But for example, if I were to double click on this one, you can see that I have a folder in here for myself. 
So just as I suggested, um, the way I suggested that you email me, um, when you have access to this Gmail or uh, Google Drive account, you're going to create a folder for yourself. Um, first initial, last name. And as I, as I mentioned, for my courses that use the Adobe Suite, um, I will provide, and you can see in this folder to the right, um, I will provide um, the files that you'll need for all of the lessons. So from lesson one to at the very end. And if you double click on any one of these folders, you can see that there are um, before and after the start files and end files that exist in each of these. So that's how you're going to get in touch with me. Okay, that if you need to email me, it will be at kirkmillerart at gmail.com. When you turn in lessons, um, when you turn in projects, they will be turned in to this Google Drive account. Okay, so that's how that goes. So where I want to go next is uh, Canvas to show you what I have. Um, at the moment, if we go to Canvas here, and you'll have to log in. You'll go to the Cerritos College website, and uh, I guess it'll be My Cerritos for you. And um, as an, again, as an example from my summer class here that I'm working on at present, is um, the computer graphics um, Adobe Illustrator class. And you'll see that I have much of the same thing. Um, Here's the email, kirkmillerart at gmail.com. Here's a link to my website. And even though I have an office at FA 233, don't have access to it on campus. So that's the way it goes. Here's the required textbook for the class. It just most of it is a repeat of what I have on my personal website. Um, some of it is a syllabus is a little bit more, um, and that's my home page here in, the, in Canvas is the syllabus. It has, um, it's a little bit more in depth, um, showing that when you sign up for the class, you are committed to it, and there are certain board policies and that sort of thing that are covered. And again, the same thing, grading, that the final project is 25% of your grade. In my Illustrator class, the two small projects are 50%, and the lessons are 25%. Um, I can talk about more about lessons in a minute. And then down at the bottom, you'll see um, the links, for example, for the summer class to the architectural detail assignment, the mask assignment, Tokidoki assignment, um, all the assignments. And these just take you back to my website. So it's really kind of duplicating what we're doing here. OK. Now, in addition to that, we could go to modules. That's another thing that we have here. And again, this duplicates what I already have on my website in the, the complete syllabus, not the weekly syllabus. But again, if you want to know when are we working on lesson one, when are we working on lesson two, they're basically, um, these are like chapters in a book. And they are chapters from the book that we're working on. And you can see again that um, at the end of working on lesson four, you're going to start the mask assignment so on and so forth. And I'll have this for my Photoshop class, and I'll have it for my um, Dreamweaver class and my 3D modeling class as well. So that's Canvas. OK, let me take you back to my website here. You can see that there's a link here to lynda.com. So I'll take you there right now. Now, lynda.com um, is for learning computer graphics software. It's for learning business um, tools. It's for learning um, how to code. It's for using for a variety of different things. Um, normally, it is um, $25 a month. And if you want access to their files, um, their or tutorial files, it's an extra 5 to $10 a month. Um, so that gets to be a little pricey. It is well worth it if you are a serious um, learner and user of computer graphics. But that's a little pricey. Um, um, you do need to have access to it. 
And I'm going to show you now how you can have access to that for free. Um, you just need to be a library card holder. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go to LA County Library. And if you do not have an LA County Library card, you need to go here. So it's LA County um, let's see where is it? LACountyLibrary.org is where you'll find this. And if you look under here, get a library card. Um, since everything is being done online now, you can get a new digital library card. And when you do, you also need to get a PIN number. That is very, very important. So you need the digital library card and you need a PIN number. You need both. When you have both of those, then what you can do is that when you log in, so for example, if I come down here and I select under digital library, you'll notice that in addition to lynda.com, there's um, a number of other um, things that you can use online as well. I'm here specifically for lynda.com. But there are a lot of online tools that are extremely useful and they are all for free. So I'm going to click on lynda.com. And you can see that I've already logged in and I'm using my um, passcode here. And hopefully it logs in quickly. And there we go. My playlist. There we go. I have one for InDesign. I have one for um, 3D modeling and animation. I have a 3D modeling one for um, software that we don't use. Um, I have one for Illustrator, one for web design, and one for Photoshop. So again, using the summer class, the Illustrator class here, we can click. And you can see there's all sorts of new courses here, all from course, the essential training down at the bottom for CC 2019, which we will be using. Um, if you also want to add to that, for example, um, all I have to put in here is Adobe Illustrator. Um, 2019. All right, actually, I'm going to put in 2020 just for the heck of it. And I'm going to put new features. There you go. So I'm going to jump to that one. So if you want to learn all the new features in Adobe Illustrator 2020, you can do that. And we can go ahead and I can add this to my playlist. So that as I'm working here, I'll go ahead and I'll add it to the Illustrator playlist. And you can add it to multiple playlists depending on what you have. So you can go back to them for a quick reference and you don't have to hunt and peck for them as I'm sort of doing right now. Okay, so that will be your access to lynda.com. Now, the reason I'm having you um, <clears throat> create a library card and to have uh, your own lynda.com account is twofold. Number one, it's an excellent source for information um, to learn software in addition to my tutorials. Uh, that's one reason. The second is, is that when I do use it in one of my webinars, I cannot record it. If I record it, I will be infringing on their copyrights and in turn, when I upload it to YouTube, it will get blocked and um, for in copy infringement. And so I will not be able to show those. So if you have your own, you'll be able to watch these again and again, and it will be very, very helpful. Okay, so that's that. That's um, um, lynda.com. A couple more thoughts on the webinars that I'm um, I'll be making available to you. As I mentioned earlier in this video, they will be available Monday through Thursday um, at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Um, you'll have to look at the weekly syllabus to determine um, which webinar will be f for your class. There'll be two webinars um, per week per class. So, for example, if we were to had, had met um, at 9 a.m. normally in class on Monday and Wednesday, <clears throat> I would have a 10 a.m. webinar on Monday and Wednesday. So that would 
um, be an equivalent to a, a, a class meeting. Um, I didn't specify the length or the duration of the webinars. Um, I usually schedule those for about an hour. So if um, there are enough people there and, uh, you know, uh, uh, participating in the webinar and are, uh, find it helpful that I'm demonstrating or offering information on what we're doing in class that week, then it can last an hour or longer depending on the needs of all of you. Um, if you need the, the webinar to last an hour and a half, I'm good with that. So if you want individual help, if you um, need individual explanation or as a group, um, I'm happy to stay as long as uh, in that webinar as you need me to. Um, conversely, if um, no one is there or we are done with, with our webinar in a matter of five, 10, 20 minutes, and everybody chooses to go their own way and to leave and to work on their own, um, I'm cool with that too. Um, so at that time, I'll go ahead and I'll end the webinar and what we do have, I will post it on uh, YouTube. So um, the other thing about the, you know, where do, where do you find the YouTube videos? Um, where you find them, Again, if you go to Kirk's classes and you go to video tutorials, click on there, and you'll notice that I it will take you directly to my YouTube channel, and I have a number of playlists available for you. Um, for the fall classes, I don't have any playlists yet, but for the summer class, you'll notice that I have Art 186, Illustrator, Computer Graphics, Summer 2020. Likewise, I will have playlists for the Photoshop classes, and I will have playlists for the, the 3D modeling class, as well as the, the Dreamweaver um, introduction to web design class. So those, will be, those playlists will be added. And all you have to do is click on there, and as you can see, I have, I have one um, introductory webinar for the, the summer class. But throughout the semester, as we record new lectures and new demonstrations, they will be added to each of those playlists. Okay? So I want to make sure that you understood um, more about the, the webinars that I'm providing. Although the, the classes are considered asynchronous, which means that you can um, take the class um, and participate in the webinars or not. And if you, you know, can't attend or don't want to attend and you feel that you can complete the class on your own, that's fine. Um, I, as I mentioned, also, as I mentioned earlier, make sure though that you check in with me at least once a week so that um, if uh, you do not attend the webinars, um, which time I'll be taking role, then um, be sure to email me. Um, and especially make sure that you're um, uploading your files to Google Drive regularly and not waiting till the end of the semester because I will um, be posting grades on a regular basis. Okay, so um, there you have it. That's pretty much it. Um, if there is more that I need to explain or there's something that I forgot forgotten, I'll probably have a, an addendum to this one as well, like I have for the summer class. And um, that's all for now. Um, I hope to see everybody this fall um, and the spring, and we'll probably be um, continuing this in the spring semester as well. Um, it's all new to me doing this online. I hope I'm making a smooth transition and um, feeling a little bit more comfortable with it than I did in the spring. I hope that you are um, acclimating to this new format as well. And um, I wish everybody success in all of my classes and all the other classes that you'll be taking at Cerritos Online. And um, uh, that's pretty much it for now. So uh, what I'll say right now is um, 
goodbye, and um, I hope to see all of you soon. Bye-bye.